Oh. oh. <laughs> You're a little bit shorter than me. I'm so short. We can lower me down. I don't need to be. I mean, it's good because like I'm the more assertive and powerful and commanding of us, but we don't need to accentuate that. I'm sitting on an ottoman, so. And I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> Welcome back to Monday Drug Bag. I need to lower the camera, though. We look silly. Ready, everyone? Uh, you look silly. <laughs> How's that? Is that a better height? This is camera woman Hannah. That's, that's a little bit better. That's Hello, nice. everyone. A great shot. Uh, we're well, back from our cruise. We are, and we have a vlog about that cruise. Yeah, we're not even going to talk about the cruise because we have a whole video coming. Check that out on Friday. But this, today, is Monday Drug Bag. It's our first Monday Drug Bag in like two or three weeks. This is the series where we answer all of your most burning questions. And where do we get those questions, Hannah? We get them from the comment sections of our Monday Grab Bag videos. Yes, today we're going to be talking about whether or not we will be homeschooling our children. Along with a bunch of other questions. As we're preparing to have kids, you have to have these conversations. Yeah. And you've been asking us all kinds of things that we don't have the answers for yet. So today we're going to break down one of those topics. Yeah, this one we I mean, this is something that we have talked about actually. Yeah. Before we get to that question, we have a bunch of other questions that all of you have submitted. So I think we should begin. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. It's time to talk about our lives. Question number one: What do you do when you see other people in wheelchairs? I tend to hiss, growl. Shane is very territorial, and so it's a threat to him. Yeah, I have to establish my dominance, make sure that they know that if they cross into my territory, there will be repercussions. Um, no, I, I do the same thing I do for any like stranger out in public. I ignore them generally, yeah, or like say hi if they're very close to me yeah it feels a little bit like should you say hi you know uh-huh but yeah like like we, we understand each other but there's like a little <laughs> bit more than just like a regular stranger but you don't want to go out of your way and be like <laughs> hello you're you're just like me <laughs> well you should tell them what you do what do i do i mean if it's not too embarrassing you might feel shane's gonna have what shane why don't you tell them what i do since i'm not sure what what's coming next whenever we see someone in a wheelchair Hannah's mouth kind of begins to like froth, like she displays signs of excitement, <laughs> and I hear her mutter things like, "Wow, that might be a good YouTube channel. Maybe I could get in with them." Wow. And I always have to be like, "Hannah, <laughs> you're using me. That's enough. We don't need to bring more people into this." But <laughs> that was a good one. That was actually well done. Good job, Shane. Shane, did you have a nurse or helper at primary school or at college? I had an aide, a personal aide, uh, until third grade. And that was just a person supplied by the school that would help me take my coat off and open doors and cut my food at lunch. After third grade, I decided that I wanted my friends to be the ones to help with that. Uh, and I had a meeting with the administration and told them that. And they were like, yeah, I'm sure, as long as you're responsible, blah, blah, blah. And from then on, my friends helped. Has there ever been a moment when you wished you could have deleted a video because of something you said or did years ago that you now find cringy? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Do you have an example? I mean, I, there's like a couple of things, our early videos. I remember I like dance in one of them and like a... Like, we don't explain what I'm doing. We used to just film, like, things that we thought were funny to ourselves, and then we put them in a video, and it's like, no one understands what the joke is. We have videos of you, like, rolling off of a bed, yeah. like, trying to do a handstand. Yeah. So I mean, they're cute, like, yeah. looking back on, but it's also like, wow, we were why? babies. Yeah, why did we put that in? I would also like to say that on my old blog, like, mm. before I met Hannah, all yeah. that, I wrote some things that, like... I was very much a 19-year-old at the time. Yeah. And I look back and I'm like, ha. Ah. So that's out there somewhere. Somewhere. Forever. Yep. Uh, there is one specific thing that I said in a video that haunts me, like very specifically. Haunts you? Haunts me. I think about it probably once a week. And this video is from, you know, two years ago. 
Uh, but I'm not gonna say what it is because I don't want you guys to go look for it or think about it. I think about it enough for all of us. It's really not like you'd probably be like, okay. Is it something embarrassing that you said? Like it's just it was just a little it, a little. I'm trying to get you to say. No, it. I'm not gonna say <laughs> it. So I'm not. Um, there's gonna be no more inf um, information about it. But yes, there are things that we say in videos, and then afterwards, I'm like, why did I say that? It yeah. was just unnecessary. But you know what? That's just us being. Authentic. Yep. Shane, when you get gifts for Hannah, Christmas, birthday, etc., how do you keep her from seeing them when they come in? Do you have someone wrap them or have her put them away uh, until it's time to open? Yeah, it's difficult because Hannah is a hundred person that, I mean, she doesn't want her surprise ruined. No. But she likes to like shake boxes and like rattle them what, what to be in here. Oh, that one's this big and that one's this big. Yeah. I'd like to enjoy my presents before I open them, but I would never go like looking in a... If I know that they're in this closet, I will not go look for them. <laughs> but the way that we handle it is like, usually Hannah's mom will accompany me either to a store or wherever I'm buying gifts, or I'll like give Liz a list of items and be like, here, can you please procure these things? And then I do a lot of online shopping and around the holidays and birthdays, we have a very strict rule that... Do not look at where boxes are yeah, from. Yeah, don't look where it's from. Yeah. If it says it's to Shane, what a way, yep. you know? Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's ever been ruined, right? No. We've never had And that. then my mom just helps Shane. They have like one day where they wrap Christmas presents or birthday presents and... Yeah. That's about it. Uh, do the two of you think you might homeschool your child when the time comes or public slash private school? So I think if you had asked me... You know, eight years ago, ten years ago, before I knew Hannah, I would have said definitely not homeschool. Sorry, yawning. Um, because I never knew anyone that did homeschooling, and then I met Hannah who did homeschooling. Did you know that? Do you want to talk about that? Some of you know that. I'm sure I've mentioned it before. <clears throat> um, I didn't do homeschooling in like the traditional sense because I feel like homeschooling you think of young children I did it for 11th and 12th grade which I feel like is a little weird I was in uh public school to start off and then I moved states and went to a private school uh starting in third grade and then I eventually homeschooled so and when she says homeschool it was more of like a forced exit from her school <laughs> kind of like a ban Oh my god, no, She really it wasn't. had no other option. It wasn't. I didn't love the school I was at at the time, and I wanted to be able to travel. Uh, I was a very dedicated swimmer, so I had practice once or twice a day, every day, for most of the year. And then when I was off, uh, I wanted to be able to, like, go visit my mom's family in Poland. Like, we just wanted more flexibility because swimming was so strict. Um, and so I decided to homeschool, and my mom was like, okay, whatever. And... For me, the homeschooling wasn't like my mom taught me because once you're in 11th, 12th grade, like that's, you know, you're pretty far into teaching. She's not like one plus one is two. And I can imagine like angsty teenager you yeah. having your mom be like, time to do your math. Yeah. You'd have been like, leave. Yeah, what? No. So for math, I remember I did an online thing, uh, like a program that we purchased for, I did like debate in person. I did an environmental science thing did, in person. Did you debate other homeschoolers? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there was like I competed a, against schools, but like we would practice. My debate class was with homeschoolers. There was like a thriving homeschooler community. Yeah, I, it was a co-op and so was the environmental science one. It was just other homeschoolers and we competed against other schools in this environmental science competition and we won our second year. We got 11th our first year and we won the second year. And we beat an environmental science school. Wow. Come on. And they had won every year for like decades. They were Many, like, what? If you've been watching for a while, you already know this. Because yeah. Hannah's Envirothon victory <laughs> is like a focal point of her history. It was a great, it was great. I loved Envirothon. Um, but homeschooling overall, like, was it a good experience? Yes, but, yeah. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I, and I can imagine, like, when we have kids, they'll want that traditional school experience. I feel like whatever you're doing, the other one sounds good. Yeah. So I'm sure it'll probably be a mix. I don't think we would just homeschool our kids and, like, they would never go to a school. Yeah. Um, But that does sound very appealing because we like to spend our winters in L.A. and we like to travel a lot. And uh, yeah. so I can see that being what we would choose. And I feel like you and me are both capable and willing to be, like, that teacher yeah. role. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did public school all throughout my um, childhood and thought it was like the best. I mean, I, I never really knew 
people that went to private school or did homeschool, right? And so then to hear Hannah's experiences with it, I was like, oh, like that might be a good option. Yeah. So, and I think it also depends on the kid. If you have a kid who's not, you know, good at staying on track. Like my mom has always said my one of my brothers would not have been good at homeschooling. You know, I was good at homeschooling. Like it's it's different at, you know, for different kids. So I think yeah. we'll have to wait and see if our kid would be a good candidate for it. But. <laughs> so as with all things related to our kids, it's going to be a we'll figure it out. Yeah, but I hope <laughs> it works because I, I would really like to do that. I'm going to make, don't call me Professor Shane. Okay. Last question. Uh, good one, Shane. What is your favorite type of boxed wine? I think this one was for you. <laughs> Not for me. I can uh, tell you Shane's favorite type. Let's see. Oh, can you? Yeah, well, Trader Joe's Chardonnay is yes. what you always drink. I began on the Franz, the Franzia, as some of you may know it. Um, that was when I was like, you know, early college, and it was like a dollar a bottle or a dollar a box. Uh, that tastes like garbage to me today, wow. um, because I've become more refined over the years. I've graduated upwards to black box Chardonnay. I didn't think this would take so long. At Trader Joe's Chardonnay. Uh, but really, yeah, Hannah was right. Trader Joe's is my go-to yeah. box wine. That's all, I, that's all I have to say about box wine Thank you today. for that in-depth response about your history. We'll have a longer video about my box wine <laughs> preferences coming out soon. Uh, all right, that's, that's it. Monday, your bag, everyone. We'll see you on Wednesday for our podcast episode. And Friday for our vlog about the cruise. Yeah, it should be done by then. We'll hope. We'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed. It'll be out on Friday. Yeah. Now that we've said it, you have to do That's it. That's true. All right. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>